Hey everyone, FamRips Pokemon, it's Jordan. Hope y'all are doing well. Uh, I'm very excited for today's video. A lot of people asking, so here you go. We are going to dive into an entire booster box of Paradox Rift. Now, fans of the channel will know I would never just blindly dive into a box of Paradox Rift because we've proven two or three times over booster boxes are weighable. So we're gonna, definitely going to rip into it, but we're going to have some fun. Uh, I'm going to weigh... See if I can guess exactly what category each pack is based on the weight. Uh, and we'll go a step further. I am going to guess whether it's an SIR or a gold based on the weight. And if I'm correct, we'll give away an ETB of Paradox Rift to one person uh, who comments down below. So with that said, let's open this up. I'm going to start with the left side. We'll do left, then right. We'll weigh them and uh, we'll see what we can do here. Okay, y'all, so after weighing the left side, we have two very light packs, which I believe could possibly be the SIR. We have our mid-range packs. We have a very heavy outlier pack, which could be a gold. So I'm not going to make my guess yet. I'm going to wait until we see what we get from these mid-range, slightly higher packs. So let's see if we're on to something here. Um, again, we've done a couple of videos where we've proven this. Uh, to be honest, the hardest thing to guess is the SIR, which I guess still keeps it kind of fun. But uh, I am a little, I don't say disappointed, but frustrated that in you know 2024, we have Pokemon, we have sets of Pokemon cards that are coming out. Boom, baby. Chantal, there's your full art trainer. Just like I thought, these would be our mid to higher grade hits. Um, but back to my disappointment with Pokemon Company. Uh, come on, guys. I mean, really, 2024, make it to where you can't do this. Um, main reason I'm showing y'all, I would never sell sealed packs. But, um, you know, be careful. You know, we've gotten scammed on eBay a couple of times buying singles. I wouldn't recommend it with uh, Paradox Rift. But again, let's see. We could just be lucky. Uh, we should be coming into an EX. Yep. Just like that, and no double bangers in this set, which, again, I don't know why they did that. Uh, if you're not going to do double bangers, um, I mean, even bring back changed up code cards. So, like I thought, these are almost all the exact same weight. Um, so I don't think I need to open those. Uh, but let's see here. Oracorio, Toad School, Vanillite, Charcadet, Cyclozar, Toad Scroll, Slitherwing, Toad School. There's our illustration rare. Are we on to something here? Do a little mini flex on where we're at. Um, so again, I know I haven't guessed whether it's a gold or an SIR, so I guess if I pull either one of them at this point in the video, will honor the giveaway either way. Um, but yeah, after I weigh the left, uh, the right side, I'm going to take make my decision on what I think we've got here. Melotic and... Oh boy. Well, here's our SIR. So it's official, y'all. We are going to be doing a giveaway. Um, so make sure you're subscribed, like, leave in the comments your favorite card that we pull from this video. And uh, just like we did in the last live stream we'll probably do that video giveaway with our members giveaway but without further ado let's pull our third tapu coco wow okay well there it is nice card very florida lottery-esque but there's our sir so again coming from clearly <sighs> the the outlier weighted packs. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and see if we can pull the rest of what 
you know, we assume are the hits here. And uh, we'll do some binder love and call this a video. You know, continue to prove that I would not use booster boxes as a way to try to complete my master set. Um, we have a video where we opened five three-pack blisters, pulled three SIRs out of it. Um, so if you are on the master set quest, I would probably recommend doing something along the lines of uh, blisters or, you know, who knows, maybe just buying a case of blisters and seeing what happens uh, or resorting to singles. Sorry about the quick cut, y'all. Uh, my neighbor decided now would be the perfect time to start chainsaw cutting down a pine tree. Uh, so anyway, is that our first miss? Okay, yeah, so that was one of the lighter packs. So I'm going to see if there's anything in here. I don't think there's gonna be um, since we got our SIR. So these were slightly lighter than the, what I'm calling like the guaranteed no hits. Um, kind of the hollows there. There is one more chance, one that was slightly heavier, and that is why I wanted to open the outlaying light ones, because I feel like some of the illustration rares, just by concept, should be a little bit lighter. You know, they don't have, like, ridiculous silver borders or anything on them. So, again, still happy that we're going for these um, with a booster box to complete kind of the illustration rares, get some of the reverse hollow game going. But again, if I were to go back and know this, I would not have bought in the case of booster boxes that I did. Um, every one of them, this is four now, is weighable. So they will probably, the remaining two will be uh, sealed. And when we go a dive in for more, uh, we will, when we go to complete our master set, we will definitely use, um, other sealed products because we did confirm that other sealed products are not weighable but with that said i'm gonna flip let's weigh the other side here we have six hits i'm gonna go with we're gonna get exactly six more from the other side because that's been about the ratio and um let's see if we can pull hopefully some pull arts and some to sterilize cards y'all so a little bit more predictable i think with the right side here uh being that we pulled the big hit out of the set doesn't surprise me um very simple these are probably definitely not gonna have hits these ones possibly could i'm gonna go heaviest to lightest um so again y'all completely kind of botched what i wanted to do for a giveaway i was gonna do it either way anyway so uh make sure you leave in the comments your favorite hit that we pull out of this video and we will make sure to do a giveaway for a paradox rift etb uh because i would say that is the largest that i would want to feel oh look at that that's kind of cool back to back i uh, wouldn't want to give a booster box just for this reason but we are on our way to continuing to be almost a hundred percent opening this booster box when it comes to hits i would really like to see a test sterilized card um, was looking at some of the PSA 10 values. There's some good ones here. Um, I know Roaring Moon is the top SIR raw, um, but I'll have to check. It was I'm trying to think of the other one that was actually worth more currently in a PSA 10. Um, Pulse, Latios, and Tapu Coco Full Art. There we go. That is some binder love. Very exciting to pull. Well. I know down in the comments, last couple of times we've done one of these videos, we have been called some uh, colorful names. Um, we would never sell these. Uh, first off, there's way more, not enough, not enough uh, risk reward to try to sell these and lose, lose what we've built on the channel. Uh, mostly, you know, I love Wizards of the Coast, so we've always got a scale on hand. Like to kind of have fun when we do these booster box openings, but this is the first set where it has been like clear cut since we've had our channel that it is weighable ex boom skeletridge ex so 
let us know down in the comments also, you know, what do you think? Do you think this is, I know some people say it's like cheating, but uh, I don't know. I bought the whole booster box. I could throw it in the fire pit if I wanted to, right? Okay, this is the last, if this is a hit, I think we're done. I have no reason to open another pack because uh, that's our four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And maybe we should keep going. Apom, Galavantula, Mantike, Tatsuguri, Vanillux, Defiance Vest, Swablu. I would have liked another illustration rare. But we'll take a Golden Goo EX. All right, I have no problem going a little bit further. I do think we've got at least two more hits, and uh, we've master set all of the regular cards in this, just not the reverses. So we do still have some skin in the game opening packs that wouldn't have hit. Techno Radar, Onyx, Flittle. Okay, so these were kind of the semi-heavy ones, which I wasn't going to expect to hit from. Um, I have no reason to open these, though. They were all the exact same weight to the, uh, to the hundredth place. So I do think we're going to get one more out of here. Tinka Tink, Tandem Mouse, Dweeble, Luxurious Cape, Cyclozar, Semiseer, Tinka Tuff, Wiglet. Not from this pack. But we are adding reverses that we could possibly need. Um, I was going to say, every, every booster box we've opened has been right on about 12 hits. But who knows? Maybe the SIR booster boxes uh, don't hit as hard as the gold. Um, this is the first SIR we've pulled from our booster box. So hopefully those other two we have in the case, if we decide to open them, have something a little bit bigger. There's an illustration rare. And it's Binder Love. Beautiful. Exactly what we wanted. Let's see if we can get a little last pack magic. Um, one of the few openings we've done that I do not think is going to warrant the gen mode. Um, I think we're, we're rocking about a 900 batting average on this opening. We might have corked the bat a little bit, but who cares? We're not in the MLB. Yamask, Curse Dust, or Beetle, Cloth, Morpico... Deoxys. All right, we are going to end it there. Through the hits here, we pulled the Serena, Skeledridge, Mousehold, Golden Goo, and Roaring Moon EX, Slitherwing, Joltik, and Ferrothorn were our illustration rares. We did have a full art Tapu Koko. Our full art trainer was a Chantal, and our big SIR was a Tapu Koko. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Down in the comments if you want a shot at winning the Paradox Rift ETB giveaway. And we will see y'all on the next one.